adenohypophysis secreted hormones here the anterior pituitary it makes 70 percentage of pituitary gland the pituitary gland is consists of there is especially anterior pituitary gland consists of different secreting cells there are five secreting cells are there these five different secreting cell secrete seven hormones what are they the first one is the somatotrophs that is secreting cells that secrete growth hormones then thyrotrophs that secrete thyroid stimulating hormones then gonadotrophs that secrete luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones then lactotrophs that secrete the prolactin hormones then corticotrophs that secrete the adenocorticotropic uh, hormones these are the important hormones secreted by from the anterior pituitary lobe that means the seven important hormones these hormone regulate the function of the or the regulate the secretion of the other hormone secreted from the other glands that's why the anterior portion is called as say the master uh, gland then the first one is the growth hormone growth hormone secreted from the somatotrophs is an acidophilic cells which constitute approximately 30 to 40 percentage of the anterior part of the pituitary gland this uh, cell somatotrophs that uh, secrete uh, growth hormone here the growth hormone is it is in a abundant anterior anterior pituitary hormones growth hormone is a polypeptide its half life is 20 minutes it is mainly degraded by liver and uh, kidney the main action of the growth hormone is it is responsible for the degeneration of cells and there is a growth and development of the cells it is also regulate the metabolism Here, the secretion of the growth hormone is regulated by two important factors. The first one is the growth hormone releasing factor, which is secreted from the hypothalamus. For the secretion of this releasing factor, some stimulant factors influence the secretion of this releasing factor from the hypothalamus. What are they? Here the hypoglycemia, fasting and starvation, exercise, stress and injuries that lead to the stimulatory effect of secretion of the, these growth hormone releasing factors from the hypothalamus. Then some factors are inhibitory uh, there is a factors that means uh, that is the hypothalamus the second factor is the growth hormone inhibitory factor that inhibit the growth hormone secretion from the somatotrophs of the anterior pituitary lobe some the what are the factors that stimulate the secretion of an growth hormone inhibitory factor means 
some of the presence of the cortisol then the hyperglycemia the increase the free fatty acid level in the plasma then later stages of the sleep these factors that stimulate the secretion of a growth hormone inhibitory factor from the hypothalamus thereby uh, that result there is a decrease the secretion of the growth hormone the hyper secretion of the growth hormone that lead to the condition is called as a gigantism and the hypo secretion of the growth hormone that lead to the that is a dwarfism these are two major disorder of the this this uh, that is a increased or decreased secretion of the growth hormone here the growth hormone act through the sub one substance is called as a uh, somatomidin somatomidin is a polypeptide it is a high molecular weight substance that is around 7500 that is the molecular weight of this polypeptide somatomidins are the mainly two type this is the, these somatomidin are secreted from the liver these are the two type that is uh, insulin like growth factor 1 and insulin like growth factor 2 insulin like growth factor these growth factors that promote the growth of body cells protein anabolism that is a constructive process then tissue repair then lipolysis and elevation of the blood glucose concentration these are the action of this insulin like growth factor that is a uh, insulin like growth factor that is the igf1 and igf2 next the effect of the growth hormone on protein metabolism usually growth hormone that increase there is a protein synthesis how it increase the protein synthesis that means it increasing the amino acid transport through the uh, cell membrane so the amino acid is available for the photosynthesis it is also increase the transcription process that is a conversion of a dna to the rna so that is the first stage of the photosynthesis then the rna translation is also increased by this uh, hormone so that is the second stage of the photosynthesis ultimately these two stages that is the uh, stages of the photosynthesis transcription and translation that lead to the uh, increased protein synthesis here it is also this hormone decrease the catabolism of protein uh, proteins that means the uh, breakdown is inhibited reduced so uh, then it is also uh, promote the anabolism of proteins indirectly so that is a constructive process synthesis of a protein in this way there is a growth hormone effect on the affected the protein metabolism here the gh the effect of gh on the fat metabolism here the it a growth hormone increase the lipolysis that means increase the mobilization of a fats from the adipose tissue so the concentration of the fatty acid is high in the body fluids so this fatty acid can be utilized for the production of the energy so the some the ketone bodies are formed like a acetoacetate beta hydroxy butyric acids then acetones so the high that is a hyperaction that lead to the ketosis here this uh, mobilization of fats from adipose tissue that is that may be deposited in the liver 
so that is a fatty liver is also one of the effect of this uh, growth hormone next one is the effect of effect on carbohydrate metabolism here the gh increase the blood sugar level by increasing the glycogenolysis in the liver so uh, that is uh, here that is hyper secretion of the growth hormone uh, that uh, increase the uh, glucose level that uh, the growth hormone directly uh, stimulate the beta cells and release the insulin so because of the uh, that is an increased level of the glucose by the growth hormone it is called as a growth hormone has an a diabetogenic uh, that is effect diabetogenic effect means this hormone that increase the uh, the level of the uh, glucose in the uh, blood so this uh, growth hormone decrease the uptake of glucose by the uh, cells it is also this growth hormone increase the storage of the glycogen in the cells it is all this growth hormone decrease the uh, peripheral uptake that is the peripheral uh, uptake of the glucose uh, for the production of the energy because the production of energy that is a fatty acid is utilized more so that these are the effect of the growth hormone on carbohydrate metabolism then effect on uh, bonds here usually gh stimulate the growth of cartilage and it increase the length of the bone until the epiphysis uh, fuse with a that is shaft so that is the effect of the uh, growth hormone on bonds the effect on the electrolyte metabolism growth hormone increase the absorption of a calcium from the intestine and decrease the excretion of calcium phosphate potassium uh, through the uh, kidney here some this uh, growth hormone that is responsible development of growth but some other factors also uh, there is a uh, influence the pattern of growth these factors are the genetic factors then some nutritional factors that means some nutritional uh, diet is required for the uh, growth uh, and uh, some of the hormones like a a thyroid hormone it is essential for the thyroid hormone uh, is essential for the growth and development of the body because here this hormone uh, hormone uh, is uh, also responsible for the mental uh, growth so the deficiency of this uh, hormone lead to the mental retardation then uh, some other is uh, insulin hormone is uh, also increase the uptake of amino acid uh, that is uh, which are required for the growth and some of the uh, there is a glucocorticoids uh, hormone uh, that regulate the growth but in the high dose that inhibit the uh, growth some androgen has an uh, anabolic effect increase the uh, this androgen increase the uh, insulin uh, like growth factor okay these are the other factors influence the uh, the patterns of, of growth that's about the uh, how the uh, growth hormone act on the body what are the effect of the growth hormone in the body here the next hormone secreted from the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland that is the thyroid stimulating hormones thyroid stimulating hormone stimulate and stimulate the synthesis and secretion of a two important uh, thyroid hormone 
that is uh, thyroxine tetrahydrothyronine and T3 that is a triiodothyronines and this thyroid stimulating hormone is uh, secretion is regulated by the thyrotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus this releasing factor is responsible for the regulation of a the thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland next one is the next hormone is adrenocorticotropic hormone acth this hormone is secreted from the corticotrophs secreting cells in the anterior pituitary portion here acth secretion is regulated by that is a corticotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus that this hormone releasing hormone corticotropin releasing hormone stimulate the secretion of acth from the anterior pituitary lobe of the pituitary uh, gland it is also uh, it is this secretion is inhibited by the plasma glucocorticoids level the important action of the adrenocorticotropic hormone is to regulate the secretion of a both basal and stress induces secretion of glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex and it is also uh, regulate the secretion of a mineral corticoids from the adrenal cortex and it is also responsible for the growth of adrenal cortex here the main sometime this uh, secretion is depend upon the uh, diurnal variation that means the secretion is maximum occur in the early morning or the early stress condition